guys, I'm Ingrid Shu. Um, I'm also a BB2K Lynx 2019 summer intern at the Mayan Lab. And this summer I worked on Kia 3, which is a web server application for kinase enrichment analysis. Um, so one of the three families of the eliminating the drug world genome NIH Common Fund program, protein kinases are enzymes that phosphorylate specific protein substrates. Um, the process of phosphorylation regulates many cellular processes, including apoptosis, cell division, cell growth, and protein synthesis. In this way, kinases serve as regulators of a wide range of intracellular processes and thus um, play a key role in many human diseases such as certain kinds of cancers, cystic, cystic fibrosis, and Alzheimer's disease. Um, another notable property of protein kinases is that they can be targeted by drugs. So predicting kinase activity from a set of protein substrates is an important first step in identifying regulatory mechanisms and potential drug targets for a phenotype of interest. The original Kia was first published by um, was first published by the Myon Lab in 2009 in Bioinformatics. It contains kinase substrate interaction libraries from six databases and um, was cited has been cited 117 times. The next version of Kia, Kia 2, was developed by Nick Fernandez, who was a postdoc at the Mayan lab and now works at the Immuno Core. Um, Kia 2 includes 3D visualizations and accepts both phosphocyte and protein um, inputs. It was never published. Kia 3 currently um, contains eight libraries with a total of 389 unique kinases and upwards of 337,000 unique kinase substrate interactions. The individual libraries were generated from both experimentally derived and predicted protein-protein and kinase substrate interactions, and are composed of kinases with four more uh, protein interactors. So the libraries for Kia 3 are formatted as GMT or gene matrix, gene matrix transpose files, um, and they're tab separated with each row containing a kinase, its protein interactors, and the library and organism from which the interactions are derived. Um, so in this GMT, we have human kinase substrate interactions from BioGrid. The Kia3 web server was built on um, the code base of Chia3, which is a transcription factor enrichment analysis tool created by the Mayan lab that was recently published um, on the web server um, issue of nucleic acids research. Um, to perform enrichment analysis on the Kia3 server, the user submits a gene set, which is compared against the Kia3 libraries. Um, after computing the significance of the overlap between the user's input gene set and the gene sets um, in Kia3 using the Fisher's exact test, uh, many ranked lists of putative upstream kinases are returned. So Kia3 returns a list of putative upstream kinases for each of the individual libraries, as well as for um, two integrated libraries. Um, which use the rank aggregation methods of mean rank and top rank. So this bar chart is um, for the mean rank integrated library and displays the top 10 putative upstream kinases. To benchmark the Kia 3 library, um, genes that were known to be up or down regulated after kinase perturbations were used to determine how well Kia 3 was able to predict the correct upstream kinase um, under the assumption that mRNA expression of a kinase's protein substrates changes when that kinase is perturbed. Um, and to quantify the library's performance, we use ROC and PR curves. So these are the ROC and PR curves that were used. Um, we use the area under the ROC curve to um, determine performance. And so this is a list of the libraries organized by um, area under ROC curve from highest to lowest. The two integrated libraries, uh, mean rank and top rank, outperformed all the individual libraries, and of the individual libraries, string performed the best. So overall, the ROC AUCs show that the Kia 3 libraries um, are useful, and that um, the benchmarking metric that we used um, also works. So a few things in the future that we can do to improve Kia 3. For one, we'd like to also be able to have phosphocytes as inputs. Um, we would like to expand on the Kia 3 libraries as well by incorporating libraries for mouse and for rat. Um, we would also like to implement new integration techniques, seeing as um, mean rank and top rank outperform the individual libraries. Um, and so we'd like to incorporate rank aggregation methods like local chemization. 
Um, we would also like to introduce a tool tip that provides potentially useful information such as um, disease linkages and recent publications for each putative upstream kinase. Um, that wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you to Dr. Maya and to Ali and to Alex and the rest of the Mind Lab for all of your help and support this summer. Yeah.